Cedric Dumbe. Better Wi-Fi this time, Cedric? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I paid, I paid now. You paid for it. It's all good. Yeah, I paid for it. With my PFL check, I paid for ah, it. Ah, nice. You're living large. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. It's good to be the king. How are you? How are you, my friend? Good to see you again. Good to have you on the show. How's everything going? Yeah. Everything is going good. It's going well. You know, I'm just uh, in my training camp. The beginning of the training camp. Can't wait to, uh, you know, to serve to the, the crowd, the French crowd again. To Kylian Mbappe, a big knockout. Yes, I love it. Okay, so it's March 7th. Uh, I, have, I have several questions about this. Number one, is it in fact true that tickets are sold out? Yeah, everything. 20 wow. minutes. Everything 20 minutes? Went 20 minutes after I announced the fight. Even, you know, even nobody knows uh, about uh, the other fight in the, in the fight card. Yeah, just one, fight yeah just one fight announced. Just one fight announced. one fight. Just one name, Cedric Dumbe. That's yeah. it. Do you think if they didn't even announce your opponent, if they just said Cedric Dumbe versus to be announced, it still would have sold out? Yeah, of course, of course, because they're waiting, you know. Uh, the thing is, what is uh, interesting is that, you know, uh, I have five MMA fights, uh, five knockouts, first round, and pe people, you know, they didn't see how my wrestling and my ground game is going, how it's going, so... They are very curious. That's why every every time I fight, I knock the guy out at the first one. So the next fight, they they are waiting. They want to see, you know, they want to see how I can, you know, I can handle the uh, arrest or, or, or whatever. Yes, that is one of the big questions, and I'm going to ask you about your opponent. But um, before we get to that, this fight, this this event, is in a bigger arena, right? This is the arena where the UFC went. The Aqua Arena? Yeah, exactly, exactly. It's like the Aqua Arena, biggest arena. So how many seats is that? Like how many tickets were sold? I think it's almost 20, 20,000. Uh, wow. Uh, yeah. And the last almost one, 20, what was capacity at the last one for you? The last one, I think some some like 7,000. 7, oh so this yeah. is more than double? Of course. Way more than double, way more. Does this surprise you or you expected all of this? No, not at all. I, I even expected them to, you know, to take like uh, the, the the French football arena, you know, Stade de France. No way. Where PSG plays. Yeah, exactly. That, that was the arena I really uh, wanted to, to compete, to fight. But, you know, next time they have to book like some like 100,000. Was that Please. was that discussed at all? Uh, no, not yet. Okay, not yet. But I think after after this one, it's gonna be for sure. You think it can happen? You think you could sell out a hundred thousand? Yeah, of course. If you put me a good opponent, for sure, hundred percent. What would be a suitable opponent for a venue like that for you? Like, who's a name that would make it feel big enough? Listen, I've I have spoke with uh, Anthony Perez. Yeah. You know, at first it was it was okay to fight, and then it declined because of I don't know maybe the date. You know, it's supposed to be in, in February. So the next one, why not Anthony Perez? Okay, let's go. So w when they announced this uh, Bellator versus PFL Supercard, I was like, man, you know, not having Cedric on this is kind of uh, is kind of a disappointment because to me, you're the face of PFL, but. Then we found out about this, March 7th, and I'd much rather you fight in Paris than in Saudi Arabia. Were you disappointed that you weren't on that card? Was there any discussion of you being on that card? Not, not disappointed, but, you know, for me, it's always better to fight uh, uh, at home yeah. because uh, of the, the French people. But I would love to fight also there, but uh, no, I'm not disappointed at all. Okay. And... Uh, Oh, how how do we how do we get to this opponent? Uh, you you refer to him as Baki. I'm trying. I I don't want to screw up his name. It's not the easiest name. Uh, Baisang Baisango Baisango Chamsudinov. Chamsudinov, yeah, that's right. Yeah, but that's you right. you you and everyone else refers to him as Baki. How did we end up with him as your opponent? You know, it's been like one year. Uh, he has a pretty good uh, fan base uh, in France. So it's been one year now. People, you know, uh, they are talking a lot of, a lot of shit about uh, having him against me because he's he looked like a wrestler, you know. Yeah. So yeah. he's a he's a guy from from Chechnya. Yeah. He looked like a wrestler, and nobody uh, could take me down 
since uh, today and they want to see, you know, they think he's the guy as they, they thought Jordan was the guy or the guy. So now they think he's the guy, but, you know, I will show the same, you know, first round knockout and they will find another guy who is supposed to be the guy, that guy. And, you know, it's always the same shit, different day. So that's the official prediction. You're going to knock this guy in the first round. Knock yeah, him out. for sure. For sure. For sure. You know, I'm, I'm like the big brother, you know. When your when your sibling is come, you know he, he look like he think he's tough enough, <laughs> and then I will I will make you make him you know take his words back, you know I think I, I will knock him out the first one because he doesn't have like Jordan you know much experience, his shin is not tough enough you know to to take a punch uh, from me, and uh, also he's not a striker I'm way better than him so I think first one is enough. Uh, would you say though that he is a step up in competition from Jordan? I think he's better than Jordan for okay. sure. He's better than Jordan. He, he got a very good uh, judo. He's from judo, mm-hmm. he's a judoka. But even his wrestling is not enough to 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 impress me. I think even in the ground on the ground in grappling, I'm better than him. So, but nobody knows. They didn't see uh, yet. So is, is is this the guy? Like I, I love your social media. I watched your video blog that you post. Um, you know the the announcement, the video on your YouTube. Yeah. Um, yeah. Are the comments? Are a lot of the comments saying like, "Oh, this is the guy that's going to expose you"? Or are you are you getting a lot of people saying this is the guy that's going to expose you? Yeah, a lot of uh, his fans. You know, they think he's the guy. But you know, even Jordan, everybody thought that that would be the guy who who's going to expose me. But it's always the same. Right. Have you ever met Baki? Never. Never, okay. He's a friend of, uh, I mean, a friend. He went to the last training camp of uh, Hamza Chimaev. Okay. So now they are, you know, like friends, but not close friends. But uh, he, he came uh, on his uh, last fight in Paris. He's supposed to fight in Paris, but he, he, he missed the weight. So he didn't fight. He didn't fight. And Hamza were there in the, in the arena. He came with him. So. Now, what happens if he misses but, weight this time? Maybe I'm going to fight, uh, I don't know. I'm going to choose uh, maybe Jake Paul. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> maybe Jake Paul. Oh, I mean, Jake Paul is the guy also. If I, if I fight against Jake Paul, I think uh, the, the, you know, Stade de France will be, will be full Damn. also in, 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 a, in an hour. But he's a little bit bigger than you, no? Uh, he's bigger than me, for sure. Same, same, same height, but bigger than me. Yeah. But I like when I'm when I'm fit. You know, I don't like to 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 do the weight cut. I used to be on weight even uh, one day before the the, uh, the 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 day. You know, the Friday we check the weight. I used to be on weight even before because I like when I'm smooth. Yeah. You know? what, what do I don't you... like to be too big. Right, right. What do you walk around at? I walk, I walk around 80, 88 kilograms. 88 kilograms, what's that? Let me see. Do you know what that is in uh, 88 kg? Yeah. That is 194. 80. Okay, so that's around Jake yeah. Paul's weight. Yeah. And then when I'm, and I figure when I'm 80, 82. I used to fight at 82. Right, right. Okay. After the, the weight check, I'm 82. So I feel very good. Now, uh, at the end of the year, we saw you and MVP in the in the cage together at the PFL event. Was that a real thing, or were you guys just messing with us? No, uh, I really would like, would love even to 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 fight against the MVP. That would be a very very massive massive fight. But I think because of that face off, uh, we put pressure on the UFC, and then they <laughs> they decided to, uh, to to sign with him. Did, did you feel like you were that being... That was real. That was real. That was real. Okay, because I was just wondering if you felt yeah. like you were being kind of like used to put pressure on the UFC and, and maybe you no, were okay no, with that. That, uh, that. No, that, that, that was real. I really, I, I really thought I would uh, fight uh, him for my next fight. I wanted to do it, but um, after that, you know, he, he shined with the uh, UFC. You know, these fights are big in France. Obviously, they're selling out. Um, but But there's a case to be made that the opponents that you're fighting, Jordan... Bucky, they're not maybe internationally known, right? When do you think you'll start to get the itch to want to fight those big names that aren't just big in France, but known to MMA fans worldwide? Uh, I th- the next one, for sure. Okay. After this one, the next one is going to be, you know, the last uh, 
uh, former UFC champion Anthony Pettis. So I think that's a good name uh, to begin. In the, and, uh, and then after, I don't know, you know, I, I don't know the, the full roster on, uh, of uh, PFL, even Berato, right. but I'm ready for them. But the next one for sure, Anthony Pettis. Did they talk to you about going into the PFL tournament or going into Bellator? Like, what were the options that were presented to you for 2024? No, I'm not uh, into the tournament anymore. I'm not, uh, it's, it's not about the tournament anymore. It's about big fight now, big fight, big opponent, uh, you know, growing up step by step and, uh, and take that PFL belt at the end, but not uh, into the tournament. So when you say PFL belt, like the only belt that they give to fighters is at the end of the tournament. So how could you get a PFL belt? I don't know yet. I don't know, yet, but we we still have to figure it out. But uh, uh, but for sure, I'm not uh, getting to the tournament because okay. they, they want to keep me for only big fights. Yeah, biggest big fights. Would, would would that be uh, potentially like a belt? Like if Bellator then came to Paris after this, would you jump over there? If it's a big fight, who cares where it is? Right under which banner? What is the difference? You know, for the moment, I'm not about. I'm not running uh, after belts. You know, yeah. I, I mean, if I have, if I have to to take that belt, I have to earn it. You know, it's not only. Uh, uh, it's also about uh, who is who I'm going to face uh, for that belt. You know, if you have ten belts but you didn't say face, you know, a strong opponent, uh, those belts doesn't mean anything. Right. Um, and uh, just curious, you know, we we spoke to you on the Monday after your last win. How how much has life changed for you? if at all, since that win? Uh, do you feel like you're more popular? Do you feel like you're bigger? Do you feel the same? Uh, no, I think I'm way more popular in, uh, in France uh, because of that fight. It's, it's, it's not because of... I mean, it's not only because of the fight. It's because of everything uh, my team and I, we put uh, around the fight. You know, the, the mattress the you know the youtube video the the trash talking and uh and the, the you know the and also the cake i mean in french it's la cerise sur le gâteau the yeah the cherry, the, the on, cherry the on the cake yeah yeah, yeah. that was a nine second knockout in front of uh, the old phg team and that, that was incredible you know because even before the fight i i, I may I made a video uh, when I was in my car, and I say, "Let's get, let's let's get something." I step in the cage, I scream, "Jordan!" And then the crowd say, "You dead!" And then the the referee say, "Fight!" And then I knock him out. And then I say, "Okay, I will do it." And I did it. That was yeah, crazy. Yeah, so crazy. Everything that was crazy. Are you gonna have another chant for this one, Baki Chemal? Of course. Is that it? Now Is that the like, chant? That's my that's my signature. Okay, signature. okay. I would say because you know the, the fact that the the world crowd scream crazy, you're dead. That that's crazy for the opponent, and I think that uh, against Jordan, that helped me. You know, uh, the fact that oh the whole the whole uh, arena scream uh, uh, you're dead, and then I scream your name like ten seconds before the fight, it's helped. It, you know, it, it, that, that that helped me a lot. And uh, for sure, I mean, every fight now, I will do it. Do you have a special walkout planned? Uh, yeah, we are, we are looking for one special for the Accra Arena, but that's secret for the moment. Secret, okay, fair <laughs> enough, fair enough. And you said that he has a fan base in France. Is there any chance that it won't be 100% in your favor, that there'll be people saying perhaps Cédric Chemor? No, no, no <laughs> way. <laughs> no way. You know what? Even even uh, you know when I fought against Jordan, even uh, the coach, uh, the manager, you know of uh, of Jordan, he screamed uh, cheer more. Nah, even him. Because so, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I have the video. We have the video. <laughs> even him. So I think even uh, you know uh, back his fan, they will scream also you are dead because <laughs> it's, they enjoy that moment. That moment. Have you already extended the invitation to PSG to be there once again, cage side? Uh, yes, we are talking with them. And uh, are they yeah, available? Well, well, are they in town? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh my the, god! Now the whole team, whole the team whole did, squad, the whole team. even the even the guy 
uh, who were missing that that, that night. Now they, they don't want to miss. Uh, even uh, another team also, they, they sent me an email. They wow. Come also. Oh my gosh. Will you accept them or are you just PSG? Like, are you, will you not accept any other team? Uh, I think we. I have to discuss with PFL, but I think we can accept them. Yeah, yeah, and we get maybe some legends there: Zidane, Henri. Of you course. know, let's get everyone there. Exactly. Of course. Ronaldo. Why oh, not? Why not? Yeah, let them all come. Yeah. That would be incredible. And by the way, the video you posted, you posted this thing. They had a banner uh, announcing your fight. On was it the Arc de Triomphe? Was that what it was? Yeah, yeah. How, yeah, how, yeah, did, you, yeah, yeah. how did you pull that off? How did you get the thing on there? That is incredible. <laughs> That's my manager, uh, David Fouché. He got the ID, very good ID. Brilliant. <laughs> are you holding a Lego thing? What are you holding there in the picture? In the picture? Yeah, in the uh, picture. Yeah, it's a Lego because, you know, Baki yeah. has a big head. <laughs> yeah, he has a very big head, Okay. small eyes. <laughs> you know, his, eyes, his head is like... Meh. And, you know, the Lego looks like his head, so that's, that's why I'm, you know, I'm just ripping his head off. Brilliant. In the picture. Unbelievable. How many people you have working on this stuff with you? Uh, I have Daddy, I, I, David. I have also the Paradig team. I, I think you know Paradig. Paradigm, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Paradigm, yeah. And David, and uh, also uh, a guy with camera. Also, uh, you know, um, Rauf, my guys, you know. I mean, I mean, maybe 10 person. Amazing. I love it. Yeah, and and I saw there was a mural yeah. painted of you in Marseille. Was that in Marseille? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. That's crazy. Ooh, you, you're everywhere. You see everything. Come on. We see everything. <laughs> we see everything. This is amazing. We're showing you right now. Uh, who did that? I don't know. I don't know. I think he's, a, he's a, an artist from, uh, from Marseille. I need to find who is, he, who is the guy, but uh, very, very good. Very amazing picture. How, how did you, how did you, like, is that your car? The picture, is, it's from a car. Is that you or did someone no, send no, it no. to you? The, 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 that's, that's not my picture. I didn't take the picture. Someone sent me the picture. Wow. They say, um, I mean, so many people send me the picture. They say, "Hey, we saw a picture of you in Marseille," <laughs> and then I was like, "Maybe some some someone else." But they wrote my name uh, on the on the the, the, the paint. So that blow you away? I like it. You know, I like it. Uh, I, you know, those this kind of thing make me realize uh, the um, I mean the power I'm I'm taking. You know, in France. You know. Because you know, I, I know myself since I, yeah, <laughs> since, since I, I was born. So uh, I'm like you know, um, every day I'm realizing that uh, is amazing. Is amazing. Would you say you're the most popular French fighter, regardless of combat sport, MMA, boxing, kickboxing? You're the most popular right now. Yeah, way far, way far, way far. You're 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 the face of French combat sports. Yeah, way far, hundred percent, hundred percent. Every time when we talk about MMA in France, when we talk about even fighting, yeah, every everybody's uh, talk about Cedric Dumbe. Every time I talk about you, the responses are always UFC fumbled the bag, UFC fumbled, fumbled. Yeah, do you, <laughs> yeah, I see that every time. On the, do you on take uh, some pride in that? Does that make you smile? Do you do you, do you relish that? That that makes me smile because you know the the fucked up, the fucked up, but you know. I didn't. I didn't. Lo I didn't lose anything. They lost. So it is what it is. You know, everything uh, happened for for a reason. So it is what it is. Do you use that as motivation? I'm gonna. I'm gonna show these guys that they fucked up. No, not at all. I'm just doing my thing. You know. I know. I, I would. I would do the same. Maybe. Maybe better. Maybe less in UFC. But I'm just doing my my my, my thing. You know. Some people say that you will never uh, have done that uh, with the mattress in UFC. They they will never let you do this. I was like, so <laughs> I'm better here. Right, right. It, it, they allow yeah. you to be you. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Considering all of that, in your mind, have you? Cl and I know this is a bit awkward of a question because you, you're happy, it seems, with PFL. Um, mm -hmm. Have you closed the door on UFC, or one day would you like to explore that option if it's if it's still there? We never know. We never know for tomorrow. But I think I, uh, I think ninety percent no, uh, ninety percent no. Because I'm not even. I'm not. I'm not twenty. I'm not twenty-one. You know, I'm not that. You know, young uh, fighter. Uh, so I think I'm more 
close that um, to the end uh, that the beginning. So uh, I think I will uh, I will not uh, open the UFC door again. But you never know. Wow, more closer to the end than the beginning. I feel like we're just starting to get to to to, to love you and to watch you. No, how course. many left? How, how many course. fights left? But how many years? I'm thirty. I'm thirty one, but I think still maybe five five years. And that's it. And then and then at the end I fight Conor McGregor. I take my twenty millions and <laughs> that'd be insane. <laughs> and then I'm done. Twenty no, million. Years, I think. Fifty million. Twenty million. Sixty million. Fifty million. Or maybe Canelo. <laughs> wow. Okay. You and Jake Paul. Uh, what What do you do after that? What's the dream after fighting? You have so many different talents. What do you think you do when you're done fighting? But uh, in, in this moment, we are looking for movies. You know, uh, I'm also in love with uh, uh, acting, so uh, we're looking for movies. So it's not after; it's during my uh, my MMA career, and then after the MMA career, we follow the the, the cinema. Do you have any things in the works right now as far as movies? No, we 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 had a proposition for a movie, but we declined because of so many uh, uh, things. But uh, we're still looking. I have a, a manager who is caring, uh, who is taking care of that, and he's, I think he's the best one in France. And uh, we will see soon. And and what about the big sponsors in France? Are they all coming your your way? Are you talking to people? I know in PFL you can't wear a ton of sponsors, which is unfortunate. I don't mm-hmm. like that. But what about people that want to be in business with Cedric? But no, uh, before the uh, since the last fight, we got a uh, good sponsor uh, in uh, especially in YouTube video. Ah. But uh, for, the, for the next one, my manager called me uh, two hours ago. And we are talking with uh, some good sponsor, big one. Big wow. One. Okay. So that's interesting. Like uh, the, the one with look, uh, what is it, Lecoq? What is it? Uh, what, what is the one? Oh, Lecoq. No, not them, but uh, that, that's also a good That would be uh, nice. You brand. want me to put in a call for them? I could put in a call. Of course. Yes. Yeah, I do hook it. you up. 30% <laughs> cut, I take. Is that cool? <laughs> okay, let's <that's> deal. <laughs> <laughs> that is cr- Hey, by the way, do you get a cut of the ticket sales? You should get a cut of the ticket sales. Uh, not for this one. Come uh, on, Cedric. The- What's the problem? You're, you're, you're the one selling 20000 by yourself. No one does that. You, you have to talk to Paradigm. Ah, <laughs> come on. You're selling that not a single fight announced except for yours, and you're selling out 20000 yeah. Your Your, your yeah, announcement on they- Twitter got over d- almost 6 million views last time we checked. Yeah, that's right. But they, they, neg- they negotiate something else. I All think right. it's better. Okay, yeah, you're happy. They treat you well. You feel like you're in a good spot. Yeah, yeah. I feel happy. I feel happy with uh, with John from Paradise. John is the man. Shout out to John. Shout yeah. out to John. Yeah, John is the man. Uh, John Mian. Shout out to him. Okay, so the official prediction is first round KO. How long? How 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 many seconds or minutes into the first round? What do you what are you thinking? To be honest, ready to be honest. If he's is if he's a very good fighter, I think I will knock him out at the second round. If if he's very good. But if it's what I think it is, I think end of the first round. End of the first middle, round. Middle of end of the first round, yeah. Okay. I can't Not wait. Not nine seconds, of course. You know, I think he's, he's, smart, he's smarter than that. But first round for sure. Because he cannot, he, he cannot spend five minutes without taking any punch. And if he take one punch, he's done. We have to make sure we can watch this here in the United States. You know, the last one we couldn't watch in the States. It's crazy. Yeah, you will watch it on Dazan. Okay. All right. That's good. Yeah. Uh, by the way, I'll, I'll be in, I, I don't know if I'll be there for that one, but I'm going to be in uh, Paris in the summer for the Olympics. I'll be covering the Olympics. Oh, oh yeah. you see that. Yeah, you yeah. See, will, yeah, you be, yeah. will you be going to any of the events? Uh, I don't know, but if you come, maybe I will join you okay. for some. We can have yeah. a petit uh, pain au chocolat, chocolat chaud, café. Croissant, croissant, café, croissant yes, everything. croque monsieur, <laughs> croque madame, yeah, quelque chose exactly. comme ça. Uh, that would be great. I'm just going to go around telling everyone I know Cédric Dumbé and I feel yeah. like I'll get like massive street cred. And, and I will invite you in the, the best place to eat best burger in France. Okay. The best one. What's it called? What's it called? What? Uh, Binks. Binks? All right. Shout out to them. Binks Burger. All right. Shout I can't wait. Binks we'll burger. do that. For now, though, uh, good luck in training, my friend, and uh, good luck on March the 7th. Can't wait for it. Thank you very much. Okay, there he is, the great uh, Cedric Dumbé, the best. What a superstar this guy is. Thanks for watching. We appreciate it very much. Hey, if you like this video, give us the old thumbs up. 
Subscribe as well. You can get many more of these videos on the channel. So please do that. We would love you forever if you did so.